presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 73, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's off 27. Gold, gold contract up $2.80, trading at 1879 an ounce. You get silver uh, up 15 cents, $22, 25 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Up 90 cents, seventy-four dollars twenty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down twenty-eight ticks, trading one thirteen seventeen. The thirty-year off full point at one twenty-nine oh two. And king dollar, king dollar right now is trading up six hundred ninety-four ticks, one oh three six oh seven. The euro is at one oh seven. The yen's at one thirty-two point five two, and the British pound is at one twenty to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. I'm going to bring the contract up first, E-mini contract, to see where we speculate this thing is coming into the close. So, ES. Okay, let's see what we got out here. So, you've been having, it's a small consolidation all day long. You get nothing at the highs, I'll tell you that, man. <laughs> nope. Yeah. So I could open this up a little bit more, but it, yeah, this thing was this thing wants to go to the lows again. The low today is 4104. So it's going to be interesting watching this thing shake out. You can see. So picture this: the the first high that we had at the open here, right? The futures hit the the 4232. Then we went straight down, and that's where I think we're going to be going here uh, to that uh, 4101. You went down there with uh, 46,000 contracts. You made the next high with 28,000 contracts, and then you made it with 19, with 22,000. Yeah. And right now, yeah, see you later, man. See, you don't want to be a, we just did 309. See the expansion of volume right now? You can see we're already at 21,000. It'll be the next tick, next bar that's coming down. That I suspect, you know, this thing will pick up a bit. NASDAQ. We go take a look at the NASDAQ. We'll do the same type of exercise inside the NASDAQ here. So NASDAQ, pull this back. Same setup. Right now you got, yeah, it's the same setup. Yeah, the, the, the low bar has uh, 14,500. Then the high bar has 9,000. The second high bar has 5,000. The bar that we just did is six. So you, you build some more cars to try to get down to that level. Gold. We go take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold right now is trading up $2.80. And what we had with gold out here, so we take a look at this. You know, bottom line is that uh, my take is we're coming back to the strength. Now, it's going to get intriguing because you see exactly, you know, what type of volume that we have as we go lower because the what you have is that str the the point three eight two of the the last move up is that eighteen forty eight um the five o is eighteen ten so right now it looks to me that 
that that's that's where we're going with this whole deal. That's where it looks like, uh, and it's because of the fact that this is you're going to be able to put this together so well, folks, because the correlations are so direct. You know, if we go over to the dollar, and if you just just look at, and it, I'd take the very highs to the lows. If you take a look at the dollar, what you have is that at the point three eight two is one oh six six hundred. We're in a 106, 165. That's a long. That's not a long way from here. But my take is that even a dead cat bounce. That's where we're going to go. Now, if you haven't test driven the, the Tigers down yet, folks, please do it. It's a buck. It's a dollar. We only charge a dollar because that way we get no scams in there. Now, I want to show you something because if you're in a den this morning, this is what happened this morning. Now, I've explained this before, and this only happens two or three times a year, folks. Okay, but if you are a day trader and you're in the market, this is where the waiting structures are so crucial to understand inside, particularly inside the oil and gas, the gold market. And the reason for that is that in both cases, right, the miners and the oil and gas, Exxon and, and Chevron have a huge position in the oil and gas. Newmont, and Barrick have a huge position in the GDX. Well, what was happening this morning, right? This is pre-market, this was insane, but I've seen it happen before, is that at seven o'clock this morning, and that's when things get real liquid. At seven o'clock this morning, they were bidding up the GDX. They were paying 20%, uh, well, uh, 37 cents higher than where it was. It was trading at 340, okay? Now, as that's trading at 340, you would have went over and you went to Newmont and Newmont was trading down $3. Now, mathematically, that's impossible at the open. And the reason that it's impossible, folks, goes like this. Doesn't mean that, that it wouldn't happen because then the net asset value, they can go with the net asset value. But the point is, is this, is that those are the things that you can take advantage of before the open. And in this particular case, there was about 30 cents there that you know, bottom line, no, some, there was a lot of people that weren't paying attention. That's the bottom line. Because inside the GDX, they, let's see, they were buying that. I think when I, I sold it, when I sold it at seven, there was only about 36,000 shares traded at that point. Okay, that was at seven o'clock this morning. Though. Now, what you could have done also is that you could have went in and bought the dust because that would work too. Um, the, the point is, is that, and this is where I'm going to go back to the GDX and show you, because the, the way you do this, right, you, you understand the weighting structure. And so if we put the weighting structure in here, what you're going to see is that Newmont was 12.5% of it. Barrick is 10.3. Now, what was happening, Newmont was down $3. Barrick was flat. So it's like, okay, you have 25% of the GDX that is not going to move. They're actually going to go lower, and they were bidding up the GDX. You get the point of it, okay? So if you want, you know, if you trade a lot, you get fast trades, that's that's a sweet trade. Because all you do, you're selling one, you're buying it right back as soon as it gets, you know, delta neutral, meaning that they, they come in back into whack. That's the, that's how it works, folks, okay? Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's down 64. Nasdaq's off 134. S&P's off 28. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the market's open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is off 161. Nasdaq's off 128. S&P's off 27. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has a, does an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it right in the right-hand side. You can... Subscribe to Master and Probability for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Steve has a huge amount of information on the site as soon as you get the newsletter. So you're going to get an incredible education for a very great value in a monster way. Steve Rhodes, what's happening? Well, I know it's happening. You, you have, you're probably watching in Pebble Beach, right? <laughs> Is it? Well, yeah, I, I certainly did turn it on uh, as, as my show this morning was uh, starting. So I was pretty, and it, it finished, I think around uh, 1.30, 2 o'clock with uh, uh, Justin Rose uh, winning. He did, Who's, you know, okay, okay. Yeah, he, yeah. you got to pull for guys in their 40s, but yeah. Uh, you know, pretty extraordinary weather that they had out there. I heard this, you this, this morning at 40 degrees. I can't imagine 40 degrees out there with wind because I, I you know, yeah. That's... And the Pacific, well, the water, you know, the Pacific water is right cold. There. So, yeah. yeah. So I've, play, I've, I've played out there a number of times and have had uh, all kind of long underwear, everything. Oh, and my you God. Name it. At, at 42 degrees. <laughs> so in Florida, I won't play if it's in the 50s. It's exactly, just too cold. Yeah. It is, it's, not, it's not worth it. But when you're out on the West Coast, you know, you're on vacation, you're traveling and so forth, you sort of don't have a choice. Right. No, uh, well, sure. you do have a choice. You can just say, okay, I'll, I'll keep the $600, yeah. which is about what it costs these days to play Pebble Beach. Um, between the greens fees, the caddies, oh, and yeah. so forth, it's a good 600, 650 bucks. Yeah. You know, let alone a few golf balls that you might uh, lose so along pitch, the way. So picture this: I have pitches, me, Tommy, and Caitlin, right, playing. And yeah. Pebble Beach was so cool. Picture this could never happen anymore, folks. This is how crazy it was. I came back from Alaska fishing. We came back with big halibut. I gave the halibut to the, the chefs there. He's cooking okay. it up. Caitlin's all of five, six years old. No, she's seven, Steve. She's seven. You know what they did for her? So picture this. Tommy and I are in uh, with one. I got Tommy a caddy, and thank God yes. I did because they, yes. it was amazing. And they gave Caitlin a uh, um, a cot, and she had her um, stuffed oh, animals, and they let her drive it. She's, I, I said, they were always driving. It was Whoa. amazing. 
I mean, you know that would never happen now. Like, would she driving around Pebble it. Beach, man, with her hat on, and you know, it was, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It's an awesome yeah. place, folks. If you, can, it's insane. It, 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 it really is. You know, it's just it's as beautiful as you can be. I, I personally, I could not live out there. It's just too cold. You know, for my it, it's, it's I mean, it, it, yeah, it's just no, too no. cold out there for, for me. You know, I, I understand why people love it. Every time I'm out there, it is as beautiful as can be. But I'm a shorts T-shirt kind of guy. Right. You know, 365 days a year. I love so, it. Uh, I love it. So, okay. listen, I thought what we could do today is, um, you know, we just had the Fed uh, uh, raise their rates. Yeah. And it was the 39th time that they have raised rates over the last 25 years. As you know, one of the tools, Tom, that I use, I share with subscribers, I'll do it during the uh, Trader's Ed show uh, each day from 11 to 12, when when, necess when 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 it's important to. But I take a look at these seasonal charts. The folks at Seasonex provide me access into their system. Well, one of the cool things that they developed, they just released this um, uh, late last week, is they, they have a, if you look on the screen here, folks, you'll see, uh, it's right next to the word seasonality, it says Fed rate hikes. And so they put in all these different events, even like the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, I could take a look at with the AFC wins, what's going to happen. But let's stay on this. Let's stay focused on this chart. So this chart here is the S&P 500. It represents how the S&P 500 has reacted during those 39 times that rates have been raised um, over the last 25 years. And the red line represents the day of the rate raise which typically sees a high in the S&P 500. And then what we have is typically a three to five day move lower out there. And that's important to pay attention to the three to five day move lower. And this is just looking at the 10 days before and the 10 days after. So it's a new tool. I've just started using it, trying to find ways that subscribers and I would be able to take advantage of this uh, data. Here, this happens to be the chart for the S&P 500. For the most recent rates uh, over the last, um, I guess this takes us back into March of 2022, out here, February 2022. And so the blue arrows, they represent the day of the uh, uh, rate. And here we can see that five of eight times uh, worked here most recently. Um, again, with that three to five day move lower, just like you were pointing out, Tom, which I think is a great find. You know, you're taking a look at the GDX, you're seeing this move higher. You're probably taking a look at gold, seeing it was pretty much flat this morning. And then you start taking a look at the individual equities and you you found a little window out there. And like you said, for short term. Well, this is maybe a little window for three to five uh, days out here nice. and helpful for those people that may be short the market. So here's that same chart for the S&P 500, along with the S&P on the uh, very bottom panel out there. And what folks should notice is that the day after the rate raise, what uh, the S&P 500, the cash index did, was it generated a TD9 count top. So along and, and, and along with that pattern, that's one of the topping patterns or bottoming patterns, Tom, as you know, that, that I use that subscribers pay attention to. Um, so it was nice that we were getting a topping signal at the same time that the seasonal pattern, so to speak, or the event pattern over the last 25 years showed that the S&P 500 should move low for a couple of days. Well, if we take a look at this chart here, this is the chart for the S&P 500. And folks, you'll see these uh, digits that are either in black or in red. What this chart here is doing, or what this tool is doing, this is tracking consecutive closes. So whether it's higher closes are gonna be the black digits, red digits are gonna be the lower closes. And this is really a cool find. Um, you know, over the last couple of years, as I've used this tool and I've used it in this way, because it helps us understand what the average typical daily movement is, either for a counter trend move higher or a counter trend move lower, retracement move lower. The blue arrows, and this just takes us back into the uh, mid part of uh, December, late part of December here. So you'll see that I've got these arrows, Tom, and everybody list, uh, uh, listening in. You'll see I've got these arrows to the number of consecutive moves lower. So of the last four sessions, we've seen two and three bar move lower out there. Remember, we looked at the uh, chart for the... Uh, um, for the event of the Fed raising rates, and it said that it was a three to five day move lower out yes. there. So I think that comes into play here. Now, this green line is referred to as the oscillator and change line. If the S&P 500 can pull back, test that, and reject it, close above it, it's kind of like a test of a swing point. Although it's not a test of a swing point, it's a test of a momentum uh, indicator. In this case here, when it's green, it's very strong momentum to the upside. So the question is, can the S&P 500 maintain that? If price closes below that, and the figure that I've got here is 4088, then it's going to tell us that 
at least the move inside the S&P 500 right now has lost its momentum, which will be helpful to us. Now, this chart here represents eight of the most commonly uh, indexed indices, U.S. indices that we track. And tops are present, TD9 count tops, so the S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, and the NASDAQ composite. The Dow's got a Rhodes Mint indicator top. The Sox semiconductors have a solid D point. And New York Stock Exchange wave number seven. Those are all topping patterns, folks. So we're going to find out whether or not this two or three day rule applies this time around and the ES Mini is in the process of trying to form a new profile. So if folks subscribe to the newsletter, they'll find out what those profiles are, where price might fall to, as well as, as you said, get a great education. And folks, it's very easy. Come over to our website at TFNN, go into newsletters. It's on the right hand side, the opening call. And as Steve just said, it's amazing that the TD9 count can hit in the S&P. <laughs> like, what are the odds of that, man? <laughs> right? I love it. It's unbelievable. I love it. Steve, have a great one. Stay for me. Look for Thanks, a show. Tom. Tomorrow. You too. Bye-bye now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The sector. Now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 93. NASDAQ's off 143. S&P's are off 32. And uh, let's go over to uh, Teflon Elon Musk, because the bottom line, folks, is that he got great news on Friday. Uh, bottom line, he he beat the uh, he beat the charge that um, the charge was fraud for basically saying that um, that he had the financing to take Twitter uh, uh, Tesla private at 420. Now they had they had an interview with the um, the jury foreman and. It was pretty cool, folks, okay? <laughs> so listen to this number. This is pretty amazing, man. So what he said specifically was this, is that the, the government did not, no, well, it wasn't the government. It was, that was a, it was a civil suit. So the, the plaintiffs, okay, what the defendants? Yeah, the plaintiffs. The plaintiffs couldn't prove what was in his head. 
right? Because that, I mean, that's that's what it's about. Like, it's got to be like, okay, yes, I, I was defrauding you. I was doing this and doing that. But now listen to this. This is how they won the case. They won the case because you always have expert witnesses, of course, right? Well, he had three expert witnesses that if you're dealing in the Middle East, that's what he brought them in for, that is the way it's done. Meaning, you make a call, okay, we'll do some business, okay? That being, that's being said. Now listen to the stat. This is what's the stat of folks. So, so picture, you know, you, we know you always, you see all these attorney ads, okay? The bottom line, most of them get settled. In this particular case, specifically fraud inside the securities business, only 1% go to court. And out of the 1%, this would have the Bloomberg article simultaneously, out of the 1%, it's been a 50-50 deal whether they win. So he's got to be feeling good. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and then on top of that, I'm sure maybe the next time that he will actually fight the SEC because what ended up happening, one of his arguments, folks, was that the, I believe he paid a fine to the SEC for $100 million, okay? And one of his arguments was that the SEC, bottom line, he never should have, should have settled with them, and they were aggressive, and the bottom line, he had to get them off his chest. Hey, well, it's, it's I, I can picture that too, though. There's no doubt about that, man. The real question is, is that uh, <laughs> what's going to be his next deal? Because <laughs> there's going to be another one. There's no doubt. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities, and we'll see whether we get volume in, inside this market. You get the Tesla's up four and a half dollars, four dollars and eighty cents. You get uh, Amazon down a buck thirty-eight. We have Advanced Micros down two forty-three. You get uh, oh, listen to this. Hey, okay, AMC. You're gonna love this. This is this is gonna happen to everything, folks, which is a mind blower. So AMC. Uh, bottom line, they're going to come in with value pricing. They, th th listen to this. This is like, uh, it, it, we're already in 1984. And what 1984 specifically is, is that if you say black, it, it's really white. If you say white, it's really black. And so bottom line on AMC, they are coming in with value pricing. And you know what value pricing is, folks? <laughs> value pricing is that now when you go to the movies, each seat, is going to cost a different amount of money, and particularly the middle seats, because that's where they know that everyone wants to sit. It's going to be basically uh, cost you more money. So it's it's really intriguing how you know the airlines basically got it going. Every other business, there's no doubt, looks at the airlines what they've done and says, yeah, why you know it's that's not going to be there early that you get a good seat. So bottom line, we're going to see more of this. That's for sure. Let's go take a look at WDB for one of the Tigers out here. This is uh, Warner Brothers uh, Discovery. The lows 882, the highs 27. They are going to be coming out with their numbers on the 23rd. And... Okay, so... So what the question is here, okay, the, the target's in it, and I believe it's already hit its target. So let me pull this back a bit. I mean, this, this stock, okay, just went from uh, 882 to 1530, and that went from a price point of uh, December 22nd. Now, if someone does like, something like that, you got to do the percentage move on that, okay? We're, we're talking about, uh, you know, 90%, right? So... Let me pull this back again, put this on a weekly. And on a weekly, it didn't take the swing out with volume. It's running into resistance. The real question is, is that, I, you know, you put a trailing stop on it. That's how you're gonna have to do it. And depending on how it reacts before, I would say before, they're coming out with their numbers on the 23rd of February. You know, if you start, seeing that baby pull back at all with volume, then bottom line is that uh, just take your money and run, man. Uh, they're expecting to do 11.3 billion and they're gonna lose money uh, this quarter, 13 cents. Now what is happening is that the, the next quarter they plan on making money. They, listen, this company has a lot of great assets, man. I mean, it got totally smoked, there's no doubt. 
when Ma Bell spun it off. Just about, I haven't seen any spinoffs that don't go to the executives that were spinning it off that get spun off at a price that would be a value. Meaning, AT&T spun this thing off at a, such a high value, it's like, okay, you get the valuations on it, but you get the gist, man. They're spinning it off at this ridiculous value. So as soon as it came out, boom, see you, wouldn't want to be a, it goes south in about two seconds flat. And that's what I expect, you know, actually happens to a lot of these. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. And we have Tesla's up 2.5%, Gilead's 2.2%, Lucent 1.1%, that's a dead cat bounce. Taken away from it, Intel getting toasted and roasted again, down 5.3%. You get Activision up 4.2%, Micron 4 and Sirius Satellite uh, 3.8%. Let's go over to Intel for a second. Let's see what this looks like. I see. It's not that bad, really. Not for what they come out with. <laughs> we pull this back. Yeah, this is dangerous, man. Oof. We pull this back. This thing was trading in 2021 at 68. Wow, it's 28. This is going to have to build costs for quite some time before... Uh, any higher price. If we go to the note and bond market, the note and bond market, folks, they continue to want lower price. Lower price, higher yields coming at us. We look at this 10-year. We put the 10-year up, but you're going to see this is the second day with volume. We did one. We're, we have done 1.7 already today. On Friday, we did uh, 2.5. That's saying it's going back to the bottom of the first consolidation uh, uh, of 111. 111 is 28. Right now, you're at 113. And then the bottom of this whole consolidation is down there at the 109.06. Um, yeah, this, these rates aren't going lower. That's, that's the bottom line. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 41. NASDAQ off 126. S&Ps are off 26. Let's just go take a look at uh, the NYSE and see if that's still really light volume. Because it, the divergence is here. The divergence is between... The, the Dow and the S&P have light volume in an incredible way. So right now, you only have 40 minutes left. Yeah, you're, fi well, you're 500 million. That, that's going to be light volume, man. The composite, we don't, though. The composite right now, well, composite's not bad either. 4.6. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 52. Nasdaq's off 126. S&P's off 26. So let's go take a look at the oil market out here. So, because, there we go. What you are going to see with the aspect of this dollar basically getting stronger i suspect it's going to basically hit the soil market so we got down to a price point of 72.25 today yeah you have volume on the move so the bottom of this consolidation is 70.54 uh you know we've basically you know seven trading days we just went from 82.48 and you know We'll see whether we can make it down there. Uh, intraday, let's see what we have intraday out here. So, right there, right there. Huh? Well, we had a buyer, but there's no follow through. That's what's going on. I mean, this this came in, there was a nice buyer here at 220. That's a lot of contracts. That's 7,500 contracts in the oil market. And right now, so we'll see where that shakes out. But right now, that uh, bottom line still looks to me like it's building cause to get into the lower price. Now, let's go over and look at Google because Google, you know, the bottom line is that Microsoft and OpenAI, when they made the deal with GBT, uh, put a fire into Google, that's for sure. So if we take a look at Google, Google's down a uh, buck 80 right now. You're trading at 103. 40. This is down from 151. So you lost a third of the value. The volume's not bad in that spike. It's going to take something to get through ice, though. You're, you're laying at ice. So what Google announced today, we won't see it, but Google uh, announced, there it is right there. So Google is... Uh, is getting its chat GBT competitor ready for prime time. The company said on Monday that its new conversational AI service called BARD would be opening up to trusted testers and that it is ready in the service for the public in the coming weeks. The service aims to generate detailed answers when given simple prompts such as what to make for lunch or how to plan a friend's baby shower. We'll combine external feedback with our own internal testing to make sure Bard's responses meet a high bar for quality, safety, and groundness in real-world information, Alphabet uh, Chief Executive Officer said in a blog post. We're excited for this phase of testing to help us continue to learn and improve Bard's quality and speed. The bottom line, they knew it had to, they had to get it out quick. And if you haven't used <laughs> uh, chat BGT, folks, I believe you can still sign up. Uh, last, you know, a couple weeks ago, you couldn't sign up anymore. They were, they were crowded. Uh, but it's a mind blower, man. <laughs> it is absolutely a mind blower what this thing can do. Um, you know, you, can, you, you have to check it over. But the bottom line is that you talk about getting a huge amount of work done in a small amount of time. And th you know what's so interesting? So it's, it's all of this AI, folks, is, it's the input. The input is the name of the game, meaning what 
the questions are you going to ask? How detailed do they get? Uh, and if you'll see how it works, it's really cool, man, because you can you can turn around and ask one, you know, write this, write that. Then you can turn around and you can see what it does, and then you can turn around and write this, and then meaning I add another A with this happening, B with this happening, C with this happening, and it blows your mind what it can do. I mean, it really can slice and dice uh, a huge um, amount of information really quickly. <laughs> There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at uh, the GLD. So, you know, we have the dollar bouncing. The bounce in the dollar, bottom line, is going to keep pressure on the broad market. It's going to keep pressure on the commodity market. And we take a look at the GLD, you know, you're going to see that, I mean, this is very dangerous. You came off the high with volume. I mean, we, we made a high with 7.9 million shares and then came down with 13 million, you know. So what normally happens with something like that, it will build cause. See, this is in the middle of nowhere right now. You can, you know, because when gold had an extraordinary run, bottom line, you know, the GLD in three months went from 150, you know, up to 181. Bottom line, I suspect what we're going to see now is that this thing is going to at least retrace to its strength. And its strength happens to also be between a 5.0 and a 3.82. The, five, the 3.82 does have volume, so it could recharge itself right to 3.82. Now, the cool thing about how we're set up is this. What you do, if you're in the metal, well, it wouldn't be just in the metals market, because if you want to be a bull in the broad market, this is the same parameter. So what you do is this. You're looking at the 0.382 and 5.0 for the gold contract. You're looking for the 0.382 for the dollar. That's the most important one. Because the debt, so picture this. I don't picture the dollar going to new highs, folks. I do picture that it finally has a, a bounce going. So a 3.82 bounce is 106, 160. Well, if that's what we do, you're, you're going to see a lot more destruction in the marketplace because right now we're only at 103, 600. Okay? So now let's pitch this. Let's pitch it. Uh, the scenario goes that you go to 106, 160. And as you're going to 106, 160, what's happening inside the gold market as you're coming down to the between the 0.382 and the 50, that your volume is contracting dramatically. And then you go to the bond market, right? We go to the bond market. Now we go over to the bond market simultaneously because you look at the bond market. And what you'd be looking at in the bond market is that as the the bottom of this consolidation in the bond market is 111.28. So if the bonds come down there and you have a big contraction happen on, the dollar is moving up to that 106.100 area. The gold is moving back to the 18.30 to 18.50 area, and that has a contraction going on. Well, guess what? If you're shot the market, that's where you're going to flip everything right around because that's, you know, kind of where things are standing right now. The cool thing about it is that you have more than one instrument to look at to decide where you want to go long a shot. And that doesn't happen a lot. In this particular case, they're lined up and they're lined up really well, you know. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. If the volume expands on this way down, then get out of the way. Because that would throw a whole other spike into everything in a, in a monster way. It looks to me out here, what we're actually doing today is actually building cars for lower price. The reason I'm saying that is that the NASDAQ bottom line is going to have some volume. The Dow and the S&P is not. You know, you're pulling back and then this is light volume. So, you know, I mean, if there was something on the, well, you know, actually, you know, what's on the agenda tomorrow. That's, oh, this is going to be fun, man. What's on the agenda tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Powell speaking. He could goose this market for a bit. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Here we go. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow, Dow Industrial's down 52. NASDAQ's off 121. S&P's off 26. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrial is down 39. Nasdaq's off 112. S&Ps are off 24. And if we get over and we look at the SPY here... So you're, you're at 48 million, shot volume, man. You know, we're, we're going into, this is where the volume helps when you break topside. We're going into the 101. Now, yeah, you went, you're three points into it. Well, this is good, what's happening here, you, you, you are in the lower range, folks. As soon as you get in the lower range, you're in the lower range. So I suspect that Powell will put some volatility into this tomorrow. He's, he's talking at noon. So there'll be volatility. Uh, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs just filled the gap. The gap in the Qs is uh, 393.43. Th I mean, 303.43. You're at 303.64. We hit 303.22. That's going to be light volume. And then if we go to the composite, the composite's going to have volume. You know, So the way that sets up, you have to keep your eye on this dollar. The dollar keeps moving overnight. Bottom line, the market's going to have more pressure. Higher dollar, lower market. Lower dollar, higher market. And at this particular case, when you do look at this dollar, you know, the bottom line, it was trying to bounce for approximately two weeks. You can see that bottom was trying to bounce on. Um, it, let's see what price, one. We're, really, we're, not in back, we're not back inside the higher range yet either. The higher range inside the dollar is at 103.869 area. We're at 103.612. You know, so I suspect one more day. One more day of this, though, 
is that uh, well actually no right now yeah, right now right now it's saying that the dollar can run to oh, yeah see the, we broke the downtrend and this is saying we can run to 107,990 and it's 106 to 160 area which is the 0 0.382 so this thing's going there man that's you stop putting these together that's where it wants to go <coughs> always remember folks the bank can claw your heart out the book can run you over and thank god there's always another trade health happens and prosperity have a great night a safe night come back and visit tommy tomorrow morning kicks us off 9 a.m great show folks we'll get him folks